Have you ever made lemonade and accidentally added too much lemon juice? It tastes super sour, right? What if I told you there is a way to fix it? Without just adding more sugar? Yes, without just adding more sugar. Any guesses? Take a moment and uh, you can try. Yes, that's right. Some of you might have guessed we can add a little baking soda to the lemonade and make it less sour. But why does this work? How can baking soda make lemonade less sour? Well, my friends, today we dive into the science of neutralization and by end of the video, I'm sure you will be able to answer this question. Let's dive in. Neutralization is a special kind of reaction that happens when you mix acid with base. So what exactly goes down when an acid makes meet the base? Simple, acid and base react to form salt and water. That's right, acid plus base gives you salt and water and this whole process is called neutralization reaction. But why is it called that? Well, when acid and base come together, they cancel each other out. What is the result? A new substance, salt. That's neither acidic nor basic. We call them a neutral substance, right? And here is something interesting. This reaction also releases a bit of heat as well. Let's check out a couple of examples of neutralization reaction now. When hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide, HCl or hydrochloric acid is an acid, obviously, and NaOH, which is sodium hydroxide, is a base. What happens when these two mix? Something interesting happens. The chlorine from the Cl pairs with the sodium from NaOH and the OH from NaOH pairs with the hydrogen. And what do we get? We get water and sodium chloride. To sum it up, acid which is HCl or hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide reacts to give NaCl which is a neutral salt. It is neither acidic nor basic and water well is water. Simple, right? Yes. Now, let us look at another example. Sulfuric acid reacting with sodium hydroxide. H2SO4, which is known as sulfuric acid, is an acid. And just like before, we are taking again sodium hydroxide, that is NaOH. Sodium hydroxide, which is a base. When these two react, they form sodium sulfate which is another neutral salt, sodium sulfate, which is another neutral salt. Why is it neutral again? Because it, ha it is neither acidic nor basic and gives water, of course water. These are just two examples of neutralization reactions where an acid and a base react or we may say cancel each other's properties out to form a neutral salt and water. Oh, look at this person holding their stomach in discomfort probably had some very spicy food, do you think? Sometimes our stomach produces too much acid, making us feel very uncomfortable. This is called indigestion. Now that you know the neutralization reaction, what do you think can cancel the too much acid that is produced in the stomach? Yes, it's a base. And to feel better, we take antacid that neutralizes the extra stomach acid, giving us relief. Have you ever been bitten by an and? Not a good thing to happen, right? Not at all, it's quite painful. Now, what causes this pain? Because this and injects a small amount of formic acid into your skin. But don't worry, we've learned neutralization reaction. We know how to cancel acids out at base. But base in what form? We have baking soda. Rubbing baking soda neutralizes the acid, relieving us from the pain. So baking soda is the base here, which cancels the formic acid through the neutralization reaction and gives us relief. Okay, what is that? That looks like a factory discharging waste water. Factories release acidic waste all the time which can harm fish and plants in the river. Not only just fish and plants, it can seep through the soil and disturb the ecosystem. So what do we do then? 
Now we know that what about neutralization reaction? We know if we add base to it, it can cancel the acid. Exactly. That's why industries first treat the water with a base before releasing it to the environment, keeping the environment safe. See another important application of neutralization reaction. Now that we learned so much about neutralization reaction, let's get back to where we started. Back to the lemonade scenario. So what happens when we add baking soda to overly sour lemonade? Take a moment and think. Yes, the acid in the lemon juice reacts with the base in the baking soda. And what is this reaction? Yes, the neutralization reaction. Acid in lemon juice reacts with base in the baking soda to give some salt which is neutral plus some water. This neutralization makes the lemonade less sour. Just the right balance so that we can drink. Now that you know so much about neutralization reaction, here is a challenge for you. Can you think of an everyday situation where neutralization might help? Find out any other situation where neutralization might help.